Hi everyone, in this video I am reviewing and unboxing this top solar uh, 10 watt solar charger. So what it is is basically a solar panel uh, that uh, outputs uh, 12 volt and 10 watts of uh, maximum output uh, for the purpose of maintaining your car's battery or any battery um, for small equipment. Um, I'm actually going to be using this for my tractor, um, boom lift, and uh, RTV. Uh, RTV is, uh, for, for those of you that doesn't know, it's an uh, all-terrain vehicle. Um, so I just want to review this and uh, show you guys uh, how it works. And uh, um, since some of these vehicles or equipment I do not use every day, uh, the battery sometimes gets really low and it's annoying to have to um, constantly jump these equipments because I don't use it but maybe once a week um, or sometimes even once a month and uh, it, it, it requires constant um, troubleshooting so this solar panel will keep the battery charged for those equipment basically alright so Inside this bag, as you can see, it comes with a lot of accessories. This is really useful um, as this loop can immediately um, goes through a bolt that goes into most batteries and uh, this can um, right away make it usable. Uh, and you can even leave this um, attachment here on the battery and probably like seal this so that it doesn't short. Um, then when you need to charge you can just plug in uh, where is it this is an extension cable by the way this is pretty long I think these this is uh, let's just see how long this is real quick I'm gonna show you that everything is using this barrel connector uh, where the center is positive and um, just let's check how long this cable is real quick this cable is about I would say six and a half foot or seven foot. Yeah, either six and a half or seven foot for this extension male to male cable. And again, that will plug into here at the female so that you can then plug this into the battery. There's also a cigarette lighter connection. So um, the way that this works is that this side goes to the solar panel and this side goes to your cigarette lighter so it will be feeding the power into your vehicle or your battery okay and we also have an alligator clamp um, one complaint that I have about this is the fact that right here you have to watch out that the um, the, the plastic is kinda of going over this clip so uh, when I got this I, I, this is my third one by the way uh, when I have my other um, chargers and uh, I was clipping it like this against let's say for example if this was my bolt and it wasn't touching uh, basically it wasn't touching the metal because again this plastic right here this part right here let me show, try to show you as you can see there some of the um, um, let me get a better light some of the plastic is actually protruding exceeding or overlapping the metal so therefore when you have a um, post or screw or bolt that you are tightening this to it doesn't make contact so you got to watch out for that all right but um, to make sure that it makes contact maybe you should do it like this this way is always going to make contact all right, again, it uses a barrel connector um, so that everything just connects pretty easily. And it also comes with this suction cup. There are four of them that comes with it. And um, at the end of the suction cup, they all have this um, kind of like a loop that you can actually attach this uh, carabiner type of um, clip and uh, that's how you can attach it to the uh, solar panel. Um, let me see what else that I can explain. Um, it also comes with a small booklet that explains about the operations, etc. 
in different languages actually uh, German and English is the uh, are the two languages and then obviously um, the solar panel itself comes inside a ziplock nice ziplock bag and uh, let's just take it out real quick all right so um, it has a indicator here at the back of the uh, solar panel um, one's for normal working and then the other one is for um, error if it's reverse the output is actually 14.4 it has to be higher than 12 obviously so that the voltage will actually flow to the battery this is not bendable it says do not bend do not fold um, just make sure that um, you don't do any of that all right so the the front of the panel is uh, is a looks like a matte plastic material that looks like uh, it should hold up quite good uh, it should be uh, long lasting hopefully I've seen these kind of uh, plastic type of uh, finish um, it's pretty good so far I have the other two chargers for about a month um, in my other equipment and I'm about to show you how I mount these uh, for the other equipment real quick for my dump trailer and uh, and, and and see how um, how effective it works actually it is this is my preferred one um, I have had many trickle chargers uh, to maintain batteries but this is my favorite one it seems to be very reliable uh, the price on this is uh, $29 at uh, $30 actually twenty nine ninety nine on Amazon I am going to put a link in the description but I'm gonna show you what the page looks like on Amazon right now okay so here it is guys um, this is the top solar 10 watts on Amazon is $29.99 with Prime and it's actually on a special um, price right now because it has a $5 off uh, I don't know how long that's gonna last but it it's very good it has 988 reviews uh, at four and a half star um, that is real actually I, I like this so much this like I said this is my third um, solar charger uh, for that same one top solar and I highly recommend it um, all right so I'm gonna show you some of the install that I did okay um, this one um, I have three of the top solar solar panel and charger and um, as uh, this one right here um, is already hooked up to my dump trailer so this is a dump trailer and this one right here is already strapped in um, the cable goes in here and it um, is currently already plugged into the um, the battery so when I measure uh, the voltage earlier uh, between the terminals, I was surprised to find out that uh, it actually has uh, zero uh, voltage coming out of the solar panel and um, I have this for a couple of days already and I'm kind of disappointed that uh, it didn't charge obviously. So um, I decided to uh, investigate to see why that is. Uh, right now it is uh, showing 13 volt which is correct but before it wasn't uh, registering 13 volt it was you're only registering about 3 volt uh, that's because this uh, battery is actually bad and I'm trying to revive it um, not bad but not charged mainly um, but anyway this solar panel wasn't generating the power that is supposed to so um, I uh, tested the other one that I have already even older and sure enough it's also generating zero power when I tested it directly from the uh, the cable so I was like what the heck um, so the manual I ran through the manual and didn't find anything useful and then I finally went to Amazon to the product page and there's finally a um, an instruction there that says that it has to be activated it has to be it has to go through a particular load before it starts uh, from the factory is deactivated so make sure that you activate your solar panel first by plugging it into a, um, a load and what I did is uh, basically um, I used the um, cigarette lighter so I have the cigarette lighter connection here in my truck where is it I think I just unplugged it yeah but anyway I plugged it into the truck make sure that you turn your accessory uh, on to your car so that oh yeah here it is here's, here's my uh, 
cigarette lighter so i had it plugged into the truck and uh, the light did not turn on until i turned on the accessory and then the light turns on um so and then i turn off the car completely so that my accessory is not long it's not it's not on and then i noticed that the the light did not turn off so which means that the uh, the solar panel is actually working now when i test the uh, the solar panel voltage it actually does work let me show you so i'm just going to use this particular one here okay so i'm measuring this uh, center middle uh, solar panel and as you can see it's registering 14.77 volt which is very good uh, despite the fact that it's even dirty and um, it's working just fine so right now it's activated and uh, i can plug it back to the uh, um, to the item that i'm trying to charge uh, using the solar panel anyway guys um, just want to show you how it's set up and uh, hope you find this video useful this is for the top solar 10 watts uh, solar generator i wish the manual would have been better because i did read through the manual but it never said anything to do with activation uh, if the manufacturer is actually watching this please update this to show activation because you're wasting my time uh, i almost have to unstrap this particular solar panel thinking that i need to bring it somewhere to to actually activate it um, but thank God that uh, I was able to use three cables in a row to, to connect to my truck to, to activate it. Anyways, um, yeah, hopefully uh, you find this video useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up or a like. And uh, if you find this product uh, something that you would like to buy, I hope you don't mind using the link in my description and also uh, the first comment so that uh, I can earn some commission out of this video and uh, and i can uh, have more money to make other videos and reviews in the future thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and share thank you thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel thank you